Hello, it's a bit of a mess here as you can see, but I just wanted to bring in real quick um, I'm going to turn this off and come back again. I'm currently melting my hard oils and I just wanted to show you just Can you see how it's still kind of grainy in there? That is not melted enough. If you leave that like that and then put your cold oils in, it's going to probably reset up but it also means you will probably get steric spots in your soap because you it's not all incorporated. So I'm going to put this back in the microwave for another, I don't know, I'll set it for 30 seconds, but I'll probably pop it out at 10 and give it a stir. But don't, if, you, if your oils look like that, they still look grainy, they're not fully melted, so you need to melt them some more. All right, um, coconut milk, we might as well do all this while we're here. Um, I've found that what has the least amount of additives out of all the coconut milks is the powder and it comes in a box like this and it's got uh, three sachets in it sachet away <laughs> sorry I've been watching Canada's drag race um, yeah so this is 50 grams now it says you're supposed to mix it with 200 mils I mixed mine with 150 grams because that's the amount of liquid that I use in my soap so it's probably a little stronger but it doesn't matter i mean you could just put the whole sachet in your soap and not even worry about liquid so yeah but this is what i use because it has coconut milk 94 percent maltodextrin and milk protein so it's 94 percent coconut milk and i don't think any other coconut milk products have a higher um, percentage than that so this is what I use anyway just thought I'd let you know all right well I'm gonna go and sort everything out and do that and we'll come back and we'll get stuck into the soap. all right so as you can see I'm making something small and there's lots of red stuff going on over here and there's a really cute plate which I've left here on purpose um, I have a lot of impulse control issues um, I've curbed them significantly since I've been on medication which I've been on medication for what, 10 years now something like that more maybe um, but every now and then I find something that really strikes my fancy and I can't resist uh, this was three dollars it's the is not the cutest it's just a little plate but I don't know what the hell I'm gonna use it for but I bought that from Kmart for three dollars <laughs> and I just wanted to share it with you guys so I'm going to do a three layered soap and I'm going to use a shaper. I'm going to use this one because no one seems particularly interested in these ones. And I think the shape's fantastic. So I'm going to use this end. And I'm going to make, this will be our monochrome red soap. So I got a red shaper just because it was the only one. But it just worked out well. Um, <laughs> I bought 10 bags of oriental red mica because it's the only red that's really red. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to carry away with that. So I have that here, and then I have these two here, which is red and bright red, which are neither one are particularly red. When you look at an actual red, they're both quite pink or orange. So um, we'll see how we go. And I also have my Carmine from Aussie Soap Supplies, which whoosh, whoosh, running out, because it's a, it's a red. But it will also, if you use too much of this, it will bleed. And we don't need a bleeding soap. Uh, because I am using strawberry soda pop, I also chucked in blizzard glitter. So it was a glittery soap because it's kind of, it smells quite, kind of fizzy. So, yeah. People out there. <laughs> There's people out there. Oh no. So yeah, so I haven't stick blended this yet. I um, was just mixing it with the hand mixer because... Um, I can. Now these little lumps you can see in here will either be bits of glitter or bits of coconut milk because it's powder so it doesn't incorporate so much with the water. Once it's in the soap batter though it mixes up really really well. So for this first layer, so I'm thinking I want the middle layer to be like really red red. So I was thinking that I might try this red. Oh, I hate these bags. 
How many times have I told you guys how much I hate these bags? Like every single time. This is why my micas don't generally live in bags. Because I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. Okay, so yeah, that's not a. It's, yeah, it's kind of a. It's definitely a pinky red. So. Oh, what? Look at that. That's a big blizzardy bit. That's a big bit of blizzards. Now I'm going to say on record that that is not red, that's friggin' pink. So, there we go. Okie dokie then. Don't think this is going to make much difference. I think this is just going to make it pinker. Oh, for God's sake, I hate these bags. I hate my fingers. It's my fingers. It's not the bags, it's the fingers. It's definitely the fingers. Yeah, this is a lot more orange. So I'll chuck that in there. Oh, poof. Poofity poofs. Many poofs. This is not very pink at all. I mean, it's not very red at all. It's very pink. <laughs> That's, yeah, I confused my mind. No. Oh my god. Uh, apparently, English is not my first language. Babble is. Babble is definitely my first language. <laughs> Not Babel. I'm not not evil. Well, no, no, I'm not evil. All right. So let's see what this does. Not a great deal. By the looks of it, it's not rising at all. So let's give it a little bit of a whiz. Wow, okay. Why? <laughs> uh, you guys know what I'm going to say, don't you? I need this to set up because I'm doing layers. It looks like it's loose. Well, it, it, it hasn't accelerated at all. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, look at it. Okay, I've been stick blending for about three minutes now. Oh, well. Okay, that message was from my very first Austrian customer. Hello, Sabine, if you're watching. Sabine, I don't know. Sabin, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, so I'm excessively sorry if I have butchered it. <laughs> uh, yes, it's just, uh, we cannot post to Austria from Australia for some unknown reason. I don't know why. Um, so, luckily she's got a friend in Germany, so I'm sending her stuff to Germany. And then her friend in Germany is going to send the stuff to her, so... Look at this. Look at this. Like, I've mixed the shit out of this and it's only just, like, it's thick, but... Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the mould. And we'll have a little look, but I don't think it's set up enough. And then we'll just have to leave it for a while and I'll go off and do something else, but... I'm, I've got to say, I am not hating on the smell. It's very effervescent. Um, it's not... I know it's very strawberry, but it's kind of... It's in the ballpark, I guess. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can see, I mean, it's, it's set up a little bit, but like, that's not going to hold the shape. <laughs> it's really not going to hold the shape. So... Okay, so we'll get rid of those two because we're not going to do any more of those, I don't think. Move these off to the side. We need a paper towel. Red. Why did I pick red? I was running late today as I was, which is mostly my fault. Um, I might have possibly have decided I was going to play City Skyline last night because I don't get a lot of time to play games and I went oh you know it was I think it was about half past nine I went oh just play until you know midnight that gives me a couple of hours <laughs> yeah I might possibly have turned it off at about three this morning um so yeah um <laughs> and then I didn't get and by the time I turned that off and you know, followed up on, on emails and all the other shit that I had to do that I didn't do whilst I was playing the game. It was about half past four or five o'clock. 
and I'm just gonna go and smack this. Uh, yeah, so I didn't end up getting up until about 10. And then I had a big soap order come through. So I don't know if that was someone who is a subscriber, if that was you with the two of everything <laughs> on Afterpay. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry I don't remember your name. I'm terrible. Uh, but um, yeah, I had to organise that. Oh, no. Let's use the black ones. <laughs> I have two sets out here now. Listen to me grunting. <laughs> this doesn't do anything. This is pretty normal. Oh, wow. Wow. <gasps> Can you guys see? <gasps> it looks so good. Um. You know what? I'm not going to use this again because I have divided this into thirds and um, I put this pretty much right on the very top. Oh crap! <laughs> it's a little jug. So I'm going to put this in here for now. Oh that's really hot. Now my mix wasn't so it was definitely Okay, I can see where we need a little bit more. So let's do that. Let's get you out of the way. It's just not quite pulling the right shapes. So we'll just put that in there. shit at this. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps going round instead of... It's too thick now maybe. Yep, I'm just shit at this. I really, really am, aren't I? <laughs> just so shit at it. Ugh, damn it. I'm going to stop posting these videos because I feel like a dickhead. <laughs> Complete and utter dickhead. Like, I know they work because I see other people use them and I know that they use them well. But me, not so much. I am a tool. <laughs> it's that simple. I am the tool. That's it. I am the tool. This is not a tool. I am the tool. Well, that's as good as it's going to get, so. So that's just going to have to do it. It's shit. It's absolute shit. I hate it. Absolutely 100% hate it because it's lumpy and it's just. Yep. Not happy. <laughs> Why do I subject myself to this, honestly? I don't know. Like, I really, I just, I don't understand why I continually subject myself to this. So I think this time it will be different. <laughs> this is the problem with hope, my friends. I'm telling you, this is the problem. Don't let hope <laughs> turn you into an idiot. <laughs> no. Uh, there's just some things that people can't do and this is something that I can't do and I just have to accept that and move on and let all of you use these shapers instead she just goes to show I mean it doesn't matter how long you've been soaping for because sometimes you just there's things you can't do and clearly this is one of them 
<laughs> now I was going to put glitter in here as like a mica layer but I won't because this is supposed to be a monochrome soap I only want to just do red so let's not do that now these are probably going to be too slippery now so I'm going to use the white ones I have another set over there for the second layer because why not subject myself to another friggin layer <laughs> I mean really why wouldn't I do that <laughs> I'm such a dickhead uh, whatever look <sighs> people fail at things people fail at things all the time it doesn't mean anything because it's it's not failing it's just me learning that I am not good at this simple as that I don't think it'll stop me which is I don't know if that's sad or brave or stupid but I don't think I will stop trying to make these stupid things work because it's like I said to Kylie it was actually hey Kylie today I'm really liking seeing other people use them because they're making the things that are in my brain that I apparently cannot make <laughs> so yeah so Please, if you're using these shapers, please share me some pictures. Share me, share me. That's, yeah, okay. Please send me some pictures. And if you've got any that you want featured on the on the shape of product pages, send me them. I'll put them up for you. All right, I am going to turn this camera off and then mix up the next lot of red because that's pretty solid. And we'll get stuck in with the second layer. Fantastic. Okie dokie. We're back. Second lot. Milk's mixed in. And there's lye sitting in the bottom. So I'm just going to whiz this up now. I've got to say, I'm really, really not a fan of the smell of coconut milk. Really not. <laughs> I think that's why I stopped using it before. Because i just mm, not a fan. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh well, this is going well so far. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, so Oriental Red is going in this one. I'm going to do a fairly big amount. Honestly, though, I'm not seeing a lot of difference between that red and this red. So, like, on camera they look this looks a lot pinker but in the bucket there wasn't a great deal of difference okay so that brown thing that's happening is actually the mica not the fragrance because there's no fragrance in here and it's doing that already and it is exactly the same shahid so because I haven't mentioned the business that I got these other uh, micas off, it wasn't my micro obsession. That's what I can tell you. I can't tell you the name of the other business because I don't remember. Um, my guess is they've bought. My guess is that's Oriental Red. Honestly, this one. I'm gonna guess that that's Oriental Red, which is just yeah. Okay. And I know how much I paid for the Oriental Red, and I paid a lot more for this. So, anyway, so we can make this different. Well, that's really not much different at all. Okay, well, I'm, I don't know what to do now. Hang on. Watermelon's no good, it's too orange, and I think Red Desert's going to be too red, so I'm going to chuck a little bit of Rosewood in here, which is this, and I'm also going to throw a little bit of Garnet Sparkle, which is synthetic, 
and it will be sparkly so but that might just give it that more sort of brownie red tone if that makes any sense rather than the pinkish tones and I've mixed that so much now it's ridiculous but it doesn't matter because that actually loosens trace so there you go oh hot flushes oh my god you guys who are young and don't understand yep definitely loosens trace that's pretty awesome guys isn't it look at that look at that yeah oh, it's like your insides are on fire it's i mean if anyone has ever said oh, someone's over exaggerating about hot flushes they're not they're probably under exaggerating because they're the worst things i don't like them don't like them at all. Why do men go through these sorts of things? It's really not fair. <laughs> I feel like they should go through something equally as horrible. Then it would be fair. Right, so I'm going to pour this in here this thin and I'm going to have to wait a while for this to set up. And I'm not even going to worry about pouring on the spatula because seriously, that's pretty hard in there. So I think... I think it's going to be different enough. Let me just drop a little bit. Or not. Yeah, see? I think it's going to be different enough that it will show up. But um, we'll have to see. No. Oh, God. It's like 22 degrees and I'm standing here sweating. Maybe that's why I don't think this winter's been that bad. <laughs> Just because I'm an old lady. That's it. Ah, oh, dear. But from my analytics, there's quite a few of you who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do tend to have an older audience, like 30s at 30 upwards. So, although if you're 30 and you're going through menopause, I feel really, really sorry for you. Although, you could get it over and done with. <laughs> because it's shit. It's absolute shit. I hate it. I'm going to have a look because, you know me, I can't help myself. Oh. Yeah, see, they're very round. very very round but yeah just just playing just playing definitely not ready to do anything with yet so all right so I'm gonna leave that to set up for a bit I'm gonna go and get ready for my second yellow soup and um because I'm actually really excited about that and it involves no shapers that's probably why <laughs> All right, and we will come back when that is ready to go and see if we can't make it do something. And the third layer, I'll be buggered if I know what colour we're going to do that. Huh? Uh -huh. Well, we'll see when we come back. Okay, so I'm back quicker than expected because this has actually started to set up. You can see, and like super fast. So it's one of these ones that... Um, Uh, I don't know because I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> what am I saying, guys? It originally slows trace and then accelerates super fast. So, yeah, look at that. That's like solid. <laughs> it's not particularly straight. Whoa. Oh, God. There's, I've just taken so much out of there and I don't understand why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Help me. I'm a tool. I'm such a tool. shouldn't be it's just like yeah, I, don't know. I don't know I don't know what I'm doing wrong
this clip is moving. Oh, because this thing's friggin' slow. You see, this is what I said last time. Once your shaper gets slippery with soap, they move. So, I should have had a second shaper and a second set of clips, maybe. And I think, because I think this has just gone down like super deep. So, this is too, it's going to be too thick to do anything. I could pipe it, but anyway, now I'm like really unorganized. Okay, I'll get this mixed up and then we'll come in and we'll just pour it on the top. This is another failure. <sighs> okay, for the first time ever, I'm actually considering not sharing a video. I'm just so disappointed in myself. Like, I just, just, yeah. I just want to be able to use the things I make. I don't see why that's too much to ask. <laughs> Apparently, it's too much to friggin' ask. <sighs> just want to shape a soap god damn it <laughs> it's not too much to ask is it no like, really i don't feel like it is so what i'm gonna do i've just put blizzard in there i'm just gonna put some of this look at this point if the soap bleeds who gives a shit i also have some of this cheap colorant <laughs> which is actually really really good Surprisingly. Okay, we'll give this a whiz and we'll see what colour it comes in. I'm so over it. So over it at this point, I just don't know. Let's chuck some of this friggin' red desert in there. It's red, kind of mostly kind of red-ish. Look, it's poo red. This is what defeat sounds like. Can't use that because it's still in there. Fine, whatever. This is a little red, just looks a like brown. Done. Over it. Don't care. Just don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> just had it. Had it! <laughs> Stupid freaking soap. Oh, it's just, you, you do, you've got to get to a point where you just go, I just don't care now. Just over it. And I have reached that point. It frustrates me because, like I said, I just want to be able to use my own bloody tools. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really good at 3D modelling. I, I know this. I made a living doing it before. Supported my children doing it. This I cannot do. And this is, you would think, would be simpler than 3D modelling for frig's sake. isn't read anyone's <laughs> language <laughs> I just don't even know now I just don't even know look at that and there's just so much soap come out of there that it's just it's just a joke oh my god yeah no this is not even pipeable it's so hard look at it it's like <sighs> there's not enough soap in there Oh my god. Uh, I'm done. That's it. I quit soaping. <laughs> That's it. I'm never soaping ever again for at least 10 minutes. Because <laughs> I have more soap to make today. Although I'm not sure that that's wise. In all honesty, <laughs> the next thing I make is going to be like the easiest thing ever. It has to be. It has to restore my faith in humanity. <laughs> or manatees in general. <laughs> yep. If I don't laugh, I'm going to scream and throw shit across the room. So, I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking... Um, mm, You would think with how cranky and hot I am that I'd have red balls, but no. <laughs> I have no red balls. <sighs> Dear me. 
That was a sad, sad joke, but will we class these as red? They're kind of red, right? They're red enough. <laughs> they are now. Oh, you know what? I don't even think this is going to be a monochrome soap because... Oh, no. There's some more of these. They're close enough to red. They're not. They're more pink than red, but... Whatever. They'll do. I can't, I can't sell that to anyone. It's a tiny little shorty bloody soap. Pink and orange are kind of shades of red, aren't they? <laughs> oh my god. Do you know how much I hate soap making right at this very second? I can't even tell you how much I hate soap making right now. You suck at soap making. I was thinking if I could chuck, cut that into little chunks. Like, what if I just... <laughs> Made little soap balls. Because I just chucked some in there. There's me thinking on my feet. As I turn the record on... Oh, phew. I thought I didn't turn on them for a minute. I just freaked the hell out. Although, I mean, really, I wouldn't have been so overly surprised. <laughs> it's very sticky. This is not really working. Like, it's working, but... Eh, I don't know if this is a soap I'd want to buy. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, it's all soap, but it just... I can't believe how hard this is. Look at how hard this is already. Like, it's solid. Look at it. Like, you could use it for soap dough. I am using it for soap dough. Already. Oh my god. It's like, it's almost, it's gelling because it's so hot. Wow. Okay, that's a odd fragrance, that one. It's like, it wanted to play well and did and then it didn't <laughs> seems to be the case with a lot of these Aussie candle supply fragrances that they um, they play well until they don't I did also notice um, they have a video up on YouTube saying to use a lot of fragrance in a very little amount of melt and pour and it just yeah, it's like 30 grams in 200 grams of soap and it's like that's not right you know that you're supposed to use like three percent not 30 percent or whatever the hell it was they were it was just no it's like really this i'm going to call crater soap <laughs> what i think it is is aussie candle supplies is a candle fragrance supplier they're not really oh, I just want to throw it in oh. they're not really a, a soap making supplier so I don't think they quite oh my god don't think they quite understand soap making like maybe the melt and pour a little bit but from what I saw, I'm not, not convinced, but... Now look, I'm not bagging Aussie Candle Supplies. They have some really nice fragrances, and I really like their fragrances. Don't get me wrong. You've heard me sing their praises before. So... I just... That video was alarming, I have to say. And when someone questioned them on it, instead of just saying, yeah, we were wrong, there was excuses made and that certainly reminded me of a 
certain president. <laughs> More subscribers gone. No, seriously, if you make a mistake, you just own up to it and move on. You don't, you know, you 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 pay the repercussions, acknowledge it, and off you go and learn from it. You don't just make excuse after excuse for why shit's gone horribly wrong. And I'm not referring to anyone in particular, just that was just a general statement. Although if you got all offended by that, then maybe you should wonder why. <laughs> I'm really just, I'm just insulting everyone. Well, look at my soap. <laughs> I have to make myself feel better somehow. I have just possibly made the ugliest soap you have ever seen. It's certainly not attractive. Do you reckon glitter would fix this? I'm pretty sure it won't. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I will share this because... Why the hell not? Because you guys will get a good laugh and of those, and those of you who soap will feel my pain. <laughs> oh, especially those of you who can't use soapers. Oh, look what I got! Look what I got! Look! Oh. <laughs> Three dollars from Kmart. Everything was three dollars it came up apparently. <laughs> Alright, well there you go. That's quite possibly the ugliest soap I have ever made. I don't imagine the insides are going to be any better. I don't even know why I'm cleaning it because why would you bother? I'm certainly not taking a photo of it for Instagram. Although, in honest all honesty, it's still this is still not the ugliest soap I've ever made. You'll see that next month. <laughs> I keep saying that. You guys are going to be wondering what the hell you're going to see. Focus. Thank you. And what do you reckon? Crater soap? I think crater soap is like the perfect name because it looks like a bunch of craters. We will glitter the shit out of it because glitter. And we'll do some hollow because, you know, the only party you can have is a hollow party. <laughs> So it says Christine on, uh, what did she say that? On Twitter today, I think. I really need to stop reading that website. It makes me cranky. <laughs> I see things on there and it's like, I've got to stop following Stephen King. Really. I mean, he just, yeah. I mean, I love the man. Well, I love his books. I'm currently reading The Outsiders and I have no idea how that's going to end. It's awesome that was the other reason why i didn't get to sleep because i had to read all right there you go she's sparkly now we have sparkly craters look it's better look it's beautiful now <laughs> all right I'm leaving i'm gonna go and i'll see you momentarily for the awful cut ta-da i don't know if you can hear me over the rain if not i'll um just do a voiceover, I guess. <laughs> I have absolutely no hope for this soap whatsoever. None at all. I mean, there's three different colours. That's all I can see. So, yeah. It looks like I've used the wavy shaper. It's not square at all. So, it's actually sort of soft in some places, which is kind of weird, but definitely three different colours in there though, isn't there? That top colour is probably the nicest of the three. Um, I don't hate it. So, um, the first thing I smelt when I walked in here though was that strawberry pop. I mean, you could, the whole garage smelt like it. So, it's a decent strong smell. Um, it's not awful, but it's definitely, absolutely 100% effervescent. So, I was going to say, if you want like a really bubbly, a soap that smells like fizzy drink, then yeah, you definitely want soft drink, fizzy drink, I don't know who else, whatever other countries call it. If you want a drink that smells like fizzy drink, then that, that's a soap. Oh my god. There's a bit of fragrance leakage, and then you can see that around where the melt and pour is. Or it could have been the melt and pour might have actually melted a little bit. That's always entirely possible. 
although it was pretty cold in here last night, so I don't know how much gelling there was going on. It certainly doesn't look like it's got a gel ring of any sort, so... Look, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's definitely not my favourite soap by any stretch of the imagination. I'm probably going to give up using the shavers for a little while just because I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest. Um, I just, I need, I think I just need to own the fact that I am not very good with my tools. I'll keep making them and you guys can just, you guys do me proud. <laughs> you guys use them the way they're meant to be used and I'll just make them. How's that sound? I shouldn't be the tool in America, you be the tool users. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just no good at it and that's fine. That's not what I'm good at. I'm actually really good at colours and drop swirls as a general rule. So, you know, I can do an ombre like no one's business, but a lot of people find that hard. So it's all good. Yeah, so this definitely won't be going on the product page as, as an example of this tool. <laughs> this would only go on the product page as an example of me being a tool. Alright, well I'm going to go because I now have to walk out there in my socks. <laughs> I come out here in my socks because I didn't actually think it was going to rain. But anyway, I'm pretty sure I can take the socks off. Alright guys, I'll see you for the next one. Bye!